Hi there. I thought I'd do a, another video um, to uh, take the bottom of the laptop out, have a quick look at the um, at the upgradability of this uh, Clevo W550 EU chassis, uh, which is sold in the UK by PC Specialist as the Ultranote 2 15.6. Um, so just before I begin, um, to have a quick look um, of um, at that laptop, um, I've used, been using it for a couple of days now, and um, yeah, just thought I'd give my comments. Um, so first thing is uh, flex. There is very little flex. There's pushing that really hard. There is zero flex really on the keyboard. Um, pretty good. Um, have to say um, second thing trackpad um, it's actually very nice um, it's very smooth it feels like it's the same um, material uh, this plastic smooth plastic um, etc keys are pretty clicky um, so that doesn't look too bad um, and it, yeah it, uh, it works it works pretty good now my first criticism of the chassis is um, I mentioned this in my first unboxing video that this edge here is quite sharp. Now I've, I haven't been using a mouse today and I've been surfing for a few hours now. When I actually put my hand on here, um, I guess it's my wrist really, um, and I'm uh, scrolling etc. Um, as you do, um, it definitely is quite sharp. So I'm actually having to uh, <laughs> uh, scroll like this I guess. Now it wouldn't be a problem if I would have a mouse here, uh, which is what I normally do have. Uh, but yes, definitely here, this is quite annoying. I haven't had this on any other laptop yet. Um, it's definitely quite um, uh, quite sharp, um, to say the least. Anyway, if you have a close look, um, I mean, I've been touching this so much. My son has been all over this and there's zero fingerprints. So it's really good um, in terms of, uh, it's not a fingerprint magnet. Right, anyway, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna flip the, uh, the laptop upside down and uh, we're going to, um, can't do really do it one handed, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that, that'll do. Let's turn that around. Now, on here, stand up and have a look. So as you can see, this is probably gonna be the RAM module, one, two. Uh, two screws to take that out. Here's the uh, optical drive. So I'm assuming that would be uh, the single screw to actually um, take that out completely. Um, so you can take that out. So I'm actually gonna open these up. I'm gonna pause the video, uh, but if you have a close look, I'm gonna take these two out to expose this. I'm assuming that's the RAM. I'm assuming this is where the um, the SSD lives at the moment. So there's one, two, three, four screws there. Um, I think I'm gonna leave everything else, everything else will probably uh, screws down the motherboard. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. So I'll pause the video, I'll uh, unscrew those um, six or so screws and uh, I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've um, I've managed to unscrew everything. So I've unscrewed two here, and uh, one, two, three, four screws there, and also another single one here. So we'll start off with the uh, the caddy. Um, sorry, not the caddy, the optical drive. So just unscrewing that one there. Um, as you can see, it's moving, and here we have the. CD drive, pretty bog standard. What is it? Can't really focus it. Anyway, it's a uh, what is it? Toshiba, I think. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Um, so there's that. Right, okay, cool. So let's move on to here. See what this one is. Nice, just comes off nice and easy. Over there. So here's our um, SSD drive. Um, looks like it's enclosed within that bracket, that caddy. And um, yeah, so pretty much it. I don't think there's space for another one underneath that, I don't think. No, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. Anyway, let's open this one up and see what's in here. Okay, comes off nice and easy. All right, okay, so let's have a look. So, first thing I notice is there is 
where is the space for the second hard drive? I don't think there is one. Maybe uh, you have to use the caddy then. The optical drive you have to replace. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. So let's just have a quick look um, at that. Can't really focus this on my phone. Um, but anyway, here's your Intel uh, AC7260 um, wireless 2x2 MIMO. That is a beast, by the way. Uh, single HyperX Impact 4 gig. I'm gonna stick a second one in there. Uh, hopefully, nick one in the uh, in the Black Friday sales. Uh, coming up, uh, what else is there? Interestingly, there is. Uh, ah, okay, cool. So here's the. I don't know if you can see that. There's the M SATA slot. So um, I'm assuming you could definitely stick an M SATA in there. There's enough space there to uh, stick a, a nice two five six gig or something in there. But still, I don't see where that second hard drive is. Two and a half inch could actually sit on this. Uh, although it is actually offered. So anyway, here we go. Here's the CPU. So that's my uh, i5-4210M um, heat pipe. It's nice and cold now. Um, just turned off the laptop. Um, what else is there on here that we can see? No, not really much else. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. Uh, what's that? Nope. Uh, there's no sign of where they've added the MX... Uh, for TPU, um, I'm assuming it's just probably under here, um, and I'm sure there's they've put it in other places. Finally, what's this connector here? Mm, doesn't actually look like a connector at all. No, sorry, that's the uh, the card reader. Been a bit of a spaz. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you.